Welcome to the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I'm your host, Kavita, and the founder of Power Purpose Play, a global community of women in midlife. I'm here to tell you that it's your time now to rediscover what has always been inside of you and bring that out into the world. If you're wondering what's next, but don't know quite what that is, or if you feel a twinge in your heart telling you that you have so much more to do and so much more to offer, you're in the right place. Ask yourself, if not now, when? Do you want to leave your job? Start your own business? Take control of your health? Reignite the passion in your marriage? Write that book, or at least that first chapter? Transitions like this can be daunting, but through listening to my story and interviews with incredible women every week, I hope to inspire you to take action. I rediscovered myself after the age of 50, and I know you can too. It's my time now to help you do just that. I'm so excited you're here. Let's dive in. Hi, my dear friends. I hope this day is finding you well and you are enjoying this last bit of summer to the fullest. It's been a whirlwind of a summer for us here. We had two weddings and another one coming up next week family visiting, family cottage, and my son's moving out soon for medical school and vacations and trips and et cetera, et cetera. It's been amazing and I'm so grateful, but I'm also looking forward to some downtime and planning exciting things to bring out for you this fall. I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for tuning into this podcast. I actually can't believe that this is the 68th episode of this podcast. It's incredible what we can do in our lives if we really set our minds to it. And this is an example of that for me. I thought I would talk to you a little bit today about why I have chosen this path, what I do, and why I believe coaching, especially as we experience so many transitions in midlife, can actually transform our lives. For those of you who have followed me in my journey in the last few years, You know that I come from decades of experience in the corporate pharmaceutical world, where I was really the top of my game for many years as a specialty sales consultant in the diabetes space most recently. At that time, I knew nothing about coaching and how it could indeed transform my life. You see, around the time I turned 50, and perhaps you can relate to this, a whirlwind of different things started to happen at once. I was experiencing the symptoms of menopause, including weight gain and hair loss and lacked libido and I was irritable and I lacked sleep. I had little energy and my kids were grown and now leaving the house, my whole adult life had really been dedicated to looking after their needs first. And now I was thinking, what was I going to do? My marriage was fine, but this spark that was in the beginning had kind of gone down and I wanted to figure out how to reignite that. And my career was fine, just fine, but not motivating me anymore. I was no longer excited about getting up on Monday morning and I counted the hours till Friday, like so many of us do. I was feeling stuck in so many ways and didn't know how to get out of this negative spiral I was in. I wish then I had someone to talk to someone to guide me out out of what I thought was a midlife crisis. I learned then, and I know now, that there is no such thing. When I took stock of my life, when I really looked at who I was, what I wanted, and figured out how to get there, my life changed. You see, we think we are stuck in our air careers and we can't do anything about else with our careers because we've done it for so long. We tell ourselves that we can't do anything else because we are not good enough to learn anything new, we're too old, or what will people think, or I won't be smart enough or confident enough to learn something new. These negative thoughts get amplified in our neural networks and paralyze us from moving forward. I stopped that negative spiral by thinking about what is possible. Not that it is a crisis, but what a great opportunity. Everything that was happening to me in this transition I was going through could be turned into a positive. I had gained so much wisdom and experience in my decades of working. 
I could apply all my skills, experience, determination, and knowledge into something new and into something that excited me. What were my top skills that I could transfer? What passions did I have that remained buried that I could uncover? For example, interviewing people was one of them, and I'm doing that every week. Now, what changing values did I have, and who did I want to serve, and why? I could find out why I was feeling unhealthy and turn it around by a new healthy lifestyle, by discovering my inner self through meditation and yoga, eating right and exercising, which could also help with my lack of energy and improve my relationships and all the other symptoms I was experiencing. I could look at my kids leaving as an opportunity for them to explore their new world and for me to believe with all my heart that I did the very best I could for them. And now it is my time to focus on me. All this happened and it happened because I changed my thoughts and feelings about what life had thrown at me. I rediscovered myself and realized that my true calling was to help other women do the same. I'm telling you all this not to boast, to tell you that my life is perfect. It's far from that, because every day I work at it still. I am constantly learning, and it is a pleasure and excites me every day. I'm telling you this because I believe you can have this too. Even if you have a little twinge in your heart telling you that things need to change, you need to listen to it, my friend. You will be amazed at what you will discover. One thing I would like to say, and I wish someone had told me this when I was going through what you may be going through, is this. Don't beat yourself up. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. And all that you have to do is listen, quieten your mind, and be open to what you receive. You will receive signs and nudges around you, but you have to first be open to receiving them. Just know that everything is as it should be, and everything always does work out for you. I promise. As I work with my wonderful clients, I actually am witnessing this in reality. So many have opened their hearts and minds to the possibilities around them and are amazed by what they see. I see the true transformation that can occur and is sometimes overwhelming. I see your potential, even when you may not. I believe in you, even when you may not believe in yourself. I am confident you can live this next chapter of your life on your own terms and in the most satisfying way possible, even if you are not confident in yourself. As I discover the world of coaching and how it can indeed transform lives, I truly believe that everyone should have a coach. Coaching is about looking forward to what is possible. It is about visualizing what you want and achieving that vision with confidence and concrete planning. It is about lessening those inner voices and critics which tell us we can't do something and flip it around and instead say, yes, I can. It is about putting yourself first and that is not being selfish. It is about investing in yourself so you can show up better for everybody else. We are at a really unique stage in our lives when we have so much to look forward to, but we often don't even know where to start. So because of that, we tend to stay stuck in our routines of work, relationships, health. Then we become dissatisfied or even resentful. Do you want to look back at your life when you're 80 and ask yourself, I wish I had done this. I wish I had written that book or looked after myself more or spend more time with my loved ones. I certainly don't, and that's why I'm doing this, truly, to help you realize the true potential you have inside of you. This isn't an advertisement for my coaching service. It is a plea to you to finally listen to that little voice and do something about it. Can you imagine all the great things that we, collectively, can put out into the world if we didn't have those fears stopping us from doing so? I can. I really firmly believe that everyone should have a coach. I have had my own coaches and they've helped me so much. But you have to choose someone who resonates with you, someone who understands you and what you desire. It could be me or it could be someone else. It doesn't really matter. What matters is you believe in yourself and that you ask yourself, if not now, when? When am I going to make changes for the better? 
So I had to get that off my chest because I see the transformation that can happen. It happened for me and it can happen for you. If any of this interests you and you want to talk about it, book a call with me to discuss. I'm excited to offer my one-on-one coaching program called, you guessed it, it's my time now. I'm also excited to announce a group coaching program I'm launching for a maximum of 10 incredible women starting on the week of October 17th for six transformational weekly sessions. If you want to be around other like-minded women who are also going through these transitions in midlife, to learn from them and from me, contact me at kabita at powerpurposeplay.ca and I will put your name on the waiting list. Thanks for listening and for believing in me and more importantly, for believing in yourself. You have this amazing gift of life. What are you going to do with it? I'm here to help. Until next time, my friend, stay safe and stay well.